it makes me feel like a kid again. You know, with the wind blowing through my hair and going really fast downhills. I think it also helps me feel the power in my body. You know, oftentimes as a larger bodied person, I feel limited, you know, whether that's going up staircases or trying to squeeze into an airplane. And when I'm on my bicycle, it doesn't matter. I can ride for hours, I'm really strong. So I think that's probably my favorite part is just connecting to my body on the bicycle. I've lived in a larger body my whole life. Um, recently, I've started identifying as fat. You know, when I was a kid, that was a really bad word and really hurtful. Um, and I've learned that, no, it's just a descriptor of my body. I have fat in my body and that's fine. And what I quickly learned is that if you don't live in a larger body, you don't ever think about it. You know, you don't think about the size of seats or the weight limits on bicycles or anything like that. I had been riding bikes for years, commuting, bike camping, you know, having all these adventures on bikes. And I was using equipment that wasn't very good. I always felt other because they just didn't make things for bigger people. Um, and I realized, you know, A, this isn't okay. Um, and B, there's a lot of other people who live in big bodies. We could truly make a difference with this. I was just, you know, cruising Instagram and I ran across my co-founder, Kaylee, Kaylee Kornhauser. She was riding her bike across Alaska and she made a post about not having a rain jacket because of her size. And I was like, we need to talk. Um, so I slid into her DMs and it kind of went from there of like, hey, this is a problem that a lot of us are facing. Um, and I had been doing bike advocacy in Seattle, you know, for bike infrastructure and lanes and safety. And I realized I could do the same advocacy, but for size inclusion. So big thing that we're advocating for is social no drop rides and actually making it so nobody gets left behind. So that's a big part of it. We're launching chapters. So those rides will be all over the country, which is really exciting. And then just continuing to make the business case um, to brands that they need to make bigger clothing and stronger bicycles. I think, you know, cycling in the US has so long been a sport where, you know, only fast people get the attention or, you know, you have to go fast or lose weight or all this stuff. And we're really changing that narrative and saying, hey, come ride with us. Like, we don't care how fast you're going. We're here just to get out and enjoy it and have a good time.